Your IPS engine is probably one of the most valuable resources of your 48 firewall. Now, it has different database signatures for data rate signatures, for anomalies, for exploits, and most of us just pick signatures of high priority and apply them to the policy itself. Now, there are several commands, command line commands, that you need to know to fine tune your IPS and understand whenever there is an issue with the IPS such as CPU spikes or maybe your FortiGate gets into a conserve mode, you will need to analyze the issue. Optimizing your IPS engine coming up. If you're having issues with your IPS engine in terms of CPU spike, CPU utilization, the very first thing that you will need to do is to use the direct test application, IPS monitor. Now press the question mark and enter. You will see a list of options that you can choose from. The most important ones, in my opinion, is the option number five, toggle bypass status. So let's just uh, use number five. When you do so, you actually enable bypass or disable bypass. That is, if you're still having an issue with your CPU after enabling the bypass, that is, your IPS will still work but it will not inspect traffic, then you're probably having an issue with a network congestion or your FortiGate is not up to the test, there is too much traffic. But if you're disabling bypass, that is your IPS still works and inspects traffic and you're still having issues with the CPU, that means that you probably have an issue with your IPS engine now you can turn or disable your ips you can do it using option two and if you want to start your ips engine again you can use option 99 that will actually restart all your ips engines operations so you can do that and it actually restarts all your ips operations the second command to optimize your IPS operations is done in the global configuration of your IPS. So use the config IPS global. Now, if you press the show full configuration, you will see a list of uh, options. Uh, you can choose the database, either regular or extended. You can choose the size of the buffer itself, the socket size. It depends on your FortiGate model. If you are using um, a FortiGate with several CPUs, you can actually even choose the number of IPS engine. But one of the most important options that you can play around is the intelligent mode. Currently, it is by default enabled. The intelligent mode actually means that your 48 IPS engine will look at the session itself. It will not scan by default every byte in this session. It will look and it will use heuristics and other techniques to choose if to scan the whole session or to stop scanning the traffic, the session traffic, upon recognizing that it is secure enough. So be sure that you're using the intelligent mode that will actually offload CPU resources, memory resources from your 48. 